It's Megan from Shiki Wrap with the fabulous Megumi here to celebrate the countdown to Global Recycling Day and World Water Day this month uh, with the final video in our series on how to use Shiki Wrap, which is a sustainable alternative to paper gift wrap. Um, so if you missed the first two videos, you should definitely check them out. Um, this video, we're really gonna focus on more advanced wrapping, um, and I do not recommend skipping ahead. You definitely have to watch uh, the second uh, before you get to this one. Um, but we are going to, I'm gonna pin the other video here, and we're gonna learn about a wine wrap. Wine bottle wrapping. And I will say, um, I do have, we do have these uh, tall gift bags for those who are not quite ready to move to this um, phase, but I think uh, we're going to have a lot of people that are going to be ready to wrap. Especially yeah, I think this is really fun um, idea to bring, you know, a bottle of wine or water to a friend's house in this, you know, this way. So beautiful. Um, so I'm going to start, well, I, I have two designs here. Um, we, I mean, we don't see this often in Japan, but, you know, like in daily life, this is really special occasion for even Japanese people um, to do this. But this is really cool um, ways to bring gift, um, bottled gift to your friends. And so I'm going to, so this is just one wine bottle. There are two knots, you see here and the top. I'm going to untie and show you the beginning. Okay, so this was wrapped around the bottle and this was the top knot. I'm gonna untie. So this size is a, uh, Megan, is this 20? What size is this? I think that's the 28 inch. 28, yes, 28. This is a really pretty hot pink cheeky wrap. Um, so the very important thing is to place your shiki wrap in diamond shape. That means one corner is in front of you. So I will do that. This is the start. All right. And then put your wine bottle in the middle. First, you're going to wrap it from the side like that and make a tie on top of the bottle. Okay. Right. Tie from the side. So this might be a little tricky because um, not, might not stay on top of the bottle, but it's okay. So this just, is this is- Advanced wrap. This is advanced. Mm -hmm. This is the first knot, okay? And then I do the double, so. I'm gonna use my fingers and hold this knot here uh, and then do the second one. Just simple knot and then tie it. Okay, get to pull it. So this will stay on top of the bottle. Then I'm going to turn so that other ends are on the side. Okay, so now I have other corners on the side. This is really fun. So you're going to wrap this around the bottle, this side, so bring it to your, um, closer to you, and then wrap it, okay? And the other side go around this way. Then bring both sides on, I mean, in front. So you're gonna wrap it on the body right here. Simple tie. This is the first one. You just tie it get tighter and then do the second one. And then you can adjust so that the ribbon part will go on the side. Maybe this is better. Okay, just like that. So and so much better than trying to like recycle or repurpose like the wine gift bags that are made out of paper that usually look bad the second time you try to use them. So right, this is really fancy. Now, 
if you master this, <laughs> you can do double. This is really, really cool. So, this is the um, same size, different design. This is the reversible pattern one. I'm going to untie. So, this one, I thought it will be fun to put card in oh. here, but I will show this um, part later. So, there's one tie on the top, and another tie is kind of hidden. On, at the bottom right here in between the bottle. You can just tack it in at the end like that. And the other side looks really cute. Okay, I'm going to untie and show you how to do it. Right. Let's see. So the bottle goes to the side. This is wild, go like this. Okay, and try not to drop this. And then I will show you when you unwrap. Guess what? You will see diamond. <laughs> because that's, that's how you start it. So the corner will be um, in front of you. Um, okay, I'm going to untie this knot. All right, so I have two wine bottles. Let me fix this up. Great. All right, it is. Place your cheeky wrap in diamond shape, one corner in front of you, and then put two bottles in the middle, but, and then you're gonna lay them down like this. When you do that, you want to have a little gap in between. Um, I think the, uh, the book Megan showed you um, they set like four inches, but that might be a little too big. Um, but I would say that like, your fist would fit. I think that's a great um, measurement. So do this and then bring um, this corner closer to you. Bring over and wrap the bottles this way. And I'm going to pull the whole thing so I can show you what's going on. All right. So I just brought this corner over this side. Then you're going to turn these bottles together this way, away from you. Away from you, all the way. And then when you run up the, out of the fabric, that's when you're going to bring your bottle up. Yeah, here it is. And so gently bring your bottle up. So now they're both standing up and you have two corners on top and you're going to tie here. Might be slippery, but. It is a very slippery fabric. Um, but it's also stretchy, so it's really good. Oh right, yes, so this is my first tie. And then do the second one, just like, and this is all secured on top. Um, and the direction said um, you can tack the other end in. This is pretty much tacked in, but you see this fluffy, you know, fabric. You can also um, bring it down and stretch it. I mean, tack it in in between the bottle. Mm -hmm. um, if I can see the other side. You see how it goes in? I'm pulling from the back like that. And then you can make it tighter. Okay, and then this is what you see on the other side. Um, you make a knot here, just simple knot. And then you can tuck this in just tuck that in yeah okay. and i thought it might be really cute to use this side and put your card like talking here I, or megan has um that is that is genius and i love that i was i was asked well how do we for like for the simple wrap um that wouldn't have that space 
how would I attach a card? Because, you know, sometimes if you're at a party or you're outdoors, you want to make sure that your card um, exactly. is attached. So, right. I mean, basically, it's, it's, this is fabric. Oops, I didn't attach it right. So you can just use, there are really pretty clothespins that are used for like fancy weddings. You don't have to, I have black for my own purposes, but all you have to do is clip the card on um, and it works well. You don't have to use any tape or anything like that. Right. I thought we can also, this is um, from the last video uh, when I wrapped the book, but you can also use this corner and you can just tuck it in and you can pretty much yeah, good yep. to go like this. That looks great. Yeah. Um, well, that is that's awesome. Yeah, um, it, it, it's really easier than you think. And yeah. with, even if you screw it up, you can just unwrap it and wrap it again, right? Mm -hmm. So There's no ripping. It's a fabric. It's a stretchy fabric, so it's really fun part. That's great. Yep. Um, all right. Well, that's awesome. I, I mean... My dream would be to go to Japan and learn from some of the people, um, like the author of this book we've been referencing. Um, this was my introduction uh, to how to wrap. This is gift wrapping with textiles, stylish ideas from Japan. It's available on Amazon, very affordable by uh, Miss Marita, who I've gotten to know, and it has instructions throughout the book for lots of different wraps. Um, you know, and it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, for me, I feel most confident with that just simple, the, the first mm -hmm. wraps from the second video, but, um, but I love that the possibilities are endless. And until oh, I yes. study totally. some of the friends in Japan, I'm just grateful to you um, for, for doing this. Um, it's wonderful. Um, okay, what else was I gonna say? Oh, I wanted to say too, if others are watching and they get inspired and uh, you come up with your own wraps or just want to show us that you've mastered uh, the wraps that we've showed here, send us your, your photos. We would love to see how this is going for you um, or reviews of the product. Um, you can email us at info at um, And I also need to put a plug in um, for a poll that we're doing right now. I'm going to share my screen here. I'm going to unpin you. Okay. I'm going to unpin your table now. Okay. Back to you. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. and I'm going to try to share my screen. Do, 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 do. Um, so we are running um, this poll um, for the first few weeks in March. If you just go to shikirap.com and click on this link right here in this bar, vote now for your favorite new ocean theme designs. It's really easy. You can follow the instructions. Um, this is just a really simple poll I came up with, but basically we have these gorgeous patterns that were um, designed for our upcoming collection, but we have a few too many to include. So we wanna know your favorites. So we'd love for you to go there and vote. Um, and then we're going to announce the winners, or the winning designs on World Water Day, which is March 22nd. And we're doing that um, not just because it's an ocean conservation theme, but because Shiki Wrap is made from a fabric called Reprieve that's derived from recycled plastic um, in an effort to keep plastic waste out of our oceans. Um, that's what yeah. What else? Did we say everything we were gonna say? I think so. I think so. Thank you so much, Megumi. I really appreciated it. Thanks for inviting me. It was my pleasure. It was fun sharing my culture with everyone. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye.